Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the Road to Glory Weird Showdowns Serie A in Sp Serie A in Dunham. We'll uh, try and think of a nice little jingle for it uh, in a few episodes time. So, as you can see in the background, we have upgraded a few players. We have a Iturbi in there. We have also the Inter Milan uh, centre mid and also the French centre back who everyone recommended me to get. Now, there was a player in FIFA 13 who was called Macusel, I think his name was. He was a low rated Brazilian goal player with five star skills, but he's downgraded himself to a silver and he's in the Serie A. And we're going to wager for him. He is valued at 5,000 coins. And that is what we're going to be wagering for. And the person we're playing is uh, Matt. He's a, a well-known follower of me and a few other YouTubers. Uh, if you, you probably will recognise his Twitter handle uh, if he tweeted you. So, Yassien is also running riot still. He is uh, scoring goals left, right and centre. And the format also of these uh, wager showdowns is sticking like this guys because I enjoy showing highlights angles and uh, it, it makes you understand what uh, tension you go through really in a full wager match so within 10 minutes we are 2-0 up I turbo on his debut crossing twice and score well getting two assists really uh, which was an awesome start and we thought we'd abuse that wing for a little while we got very unlucky there for his second assist uh, with the ball getting saved by the goalkeeper also guys if you are after any ultimate team coins make sure you check out fifacoinsstash.com their link is down below we got very unlucky there with a uh, delicate little like chipped uh, volley over uh, and he does get very lucky. But we do extend the lead to 3-0 there with Cassani scoring on the 17th minute. So all these highlights, guys, are before the 20th minute. We just ran riot and um, I couldn't really change it. I just thought I'd keep going. And that highlight in the background where you sidestep and shoot... That usually was a guaranteed goal, but for some reason it completely failed. A bit of dribbling there, got very unlucky when the, and his uh, brilliant defending did save the opportunity. So guys, I want to know also some uh, stuff about you with uh, with regards to silver players because not many people have been wanting to wager me uh, and I'll also explain how you can wager me if you want to get involved with that. So if you want to wager with me, I do tweet out now and then, it, it, it's very, very limited to when I do. Um, and I do ask you to uh, wager me a value, uh, have a restriction of how many players you can have and in the background it did score one goal. And did the Gangnam style dance. Absolutely ridiculous. So three one at half time. So I put a tweet out saying guys uh, 5k wager. Xbox. Uh, 10 players. Silver. One player. Bronze. And that's what I would... Um, that's what I would expect. Uh, you you lot to reply with your silver teams, but on Twitter, a lot of people aren't um, getting involved with it really, which is a bit of a shame. I know it's early on in the game, but these wages aren't a lot um, to, to most people, especially with, uh, with with the with the player prices uh, being stable and uh, being really low in the semi. Yeah? Nice goal there from Megiorini uh, with a volley over the keeper, and he does make it four one. But our man keeps pushing, and I do show a few highlights from him now. So if you like, don't follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Bateson87. You can get involved there, uh, and now and then I'll tweet out offering wages. Now, I know a few people are waiting for the bigger wages. That will happen when we start hitting the golds and the informs. We've got the likes of Inform Capignaro as a future wager. Um... And all the other ones which are coming, I think there's an informed Pandev as I was looking, uh, just being released into the uh, team of the week, week three. Um, so it's looking fairly good. Let's hope the uh, informs keep on rocking and we're able to bash out some uh, amazing wages further down the line. But this being the first wager showdown, you've got to expect um, there not to be much excitement really with the players like in the uh, Road to Glory Brazil one. We did at the end of FIFA 13, we were able to do second man of the match, Neymar wager, which was valued at 2k, which is fucking nuts. Awesome goal by him as well, by Phil Heiber. <laughs> Probably completely butchered that name, um, but he did score in the 90th minute with a nice uh, volley to make. The score, 4-2. And we've progressed on to win another wager match in the, in the showdowns, which I'm not going to complain about. That's how many wins is that now? We, we lost the first game uh, on penalties. And then after that, we've gone on a four-game win streak, uh, which is awesome. So as you can see there, the statistics on the right-hand side, we've got 14k won. And overall, we've made 8k in five games. So for the sixth game, we are going to go for a wager of Jonathan. He also was a gold last year. I 
may be incorrect on that, but I'm pretty sure he was a gold. Uh, he plays for Inter Milan in a Basilva. So he's worth a little bit, uh, 4k really, which isn't a lot. Uh, but we did put Michael Sell in the team with a sniper card on him. Uh, we, that card was actually purchased off Kazooie as well. Uh, his was cheapest on the market when I was buying him. Um, I mean, we, hopefully, he'll uh, produce some goods for us and uh, hopefully get us a few more goals. We'll have to have a check in the next episode to see how many goals the game he has got. So, yeah, that shot in the background... FIFA 14, I fucking was fuming when that went in. Fourth minute, and just the style of the finesse was ridiculous. It was a little bobbler across the floor, and it went in. I was really, really annoyed. Um, and I was still fuming when this happened. He uh, skimmed me up a little bit. I thought he was going to do a whacker whacker, but he failed. And guess what? He finesses another shot. 2 0 lead within 13 minutes. And to be honest, I, I hate losing at the moment. I just want to keep winning to get the uh, upgrades in the team. Uh, so 2 0 in 13 minutes, and it was a very uphill battle. Was it? Oh, yeah, uphill battle, we're going to say it as. Um, but the game just felt like it was going around me. I tried to head about there. Uh, it went for a Superman, and somehow we managed to clear it and uh, keep it at 2 0. Um, very, very difficult opponent it was, but we managed to uh, keep pushing at the door, very unlucky there with a nice lobbed, and uh, he was able to clear that without me headering it in. Um, but yeah, these games are getting fairly tough now, but I am feel like I'm getting used to FIFA, um, I feel like I'm able to uh, score goals when needed, and we got very lucky there, 45, 45th minute bullshit, and Yassien does score again, he is becoming an absolute awesome player. Also guys, remember, 1,200 likes and we will be nailing another episode of this ASAP, um, this being Thursday, I don't think I've got one coming out on, on the Friday, uh, I think we'll be coming out on uh, Monday of next week, as we've got a few expensive squad builders and also let me know in the comment section below if you want to see any edits of this if you want anything mixing up so 2-2 two, two at half time Makusel and Yassien scoring on the 45th minute it basically makes up for the bullshit goals he scored especially that first one was ridiculous um, but some bullshit happened again tugging at him tugging at him wasn't even the last man and guess what the referee whacks out a red card and Ariodo is sent to the stands. Very fucking annoying, especially as he's a massive hole in my defensive, uh, well, centre of defence. Look, I was only tugging him and he just gives a straight red card. But then it just doesn't happen like that. You know, when you get bullshitted once, twice, three times, EA is just going to come along and take a massive fucking dump on your head. And guess what? With Kelvin, he scores the result in free kick. It was a very nice free kick. I'm not going to take it away from him, but it was an awesome goal. Um, and we are 3-2 down. This is not bad. We were, we were two goals down later on. So directly after him scoring that, obviously what we're going to do, we're going to run down the wing. Iturbe whips it in and he scores a goal. Uh, Makusel scoring his second goal of the game um, which is not bad for a debut debutant and he feels quite good actually compared to the other guys I was using um, so so with the well with it being open now especially because I never even changed anything in defense in this game I just thought fuck it I'm gonna keep it at three at the back with one center back uh, and he was pushing on the door but I did make a few mistakes where he was able to counter in numbers and that happened here one two three four people against one he whips it over and Kelvin scoring another goal so Kelvin scoring a lot of goals for him and we're in the well we're losing again now absolutely ridiculous really fucking annoying as well and so annoyed with this game but 4-3 isn't that bad and we still think we can score goals Terda getting very unlucky there awesome save by the goalkeeper to keep it at 4-3 um, but me keep pushing on the door in the 70th minute we get a bit of a breakthrough completely sell him there two of his defenders run away and Makusel scoring his that might actually be his second I can't remember who scored now but that might be his second that might be his third, actually. That might be his third goal. And then in the 84th minute, we get very lucky. Run straight past him, drill past him, whip it to the far post. And Makusel is there again to score a goal. Not going to complain, especially in the 84th minute. And uh, we were completely bat getting battered within the first 20 minutes. So we do go on to win. Makusel scoring four goals. Ariodo getting sent off. And Yassien obviously scoring. I don't know when I'm going to cause an upgrade of him. We'll probably do that further down the line. So Kelvin with the hat-trick as well. Uh, but obviously, Mike Roussel is going to be walking away with the match ball this game. So there we have it, guys. In the series so far, we have played six games. 
five upgrades, one downgrade, but to be fair, I'm not even using that card as a downgrade at the moment. He seems to be ripping shit up. So which players do you want to see me go for now, guys? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe to me for more awesome FIFA 14 content. If you're not subscribed, and also comment in the section below about what you want to see in the future, what players, what how you're enjoying the episode, and uh, also what you want to see in the future. So until next time, guys, have a very nice day, and I'll see you again later. Bye-bye.